The world's oceans are still prowled by ruthless and daring pirates who prey upon vulnerable ships and their crew. While piracy has been largely eradicated in many parts of the world, there are still a few countries where this ancient scourge continues to thrive. In this article, we will explore the top five countries where piracy remains a significant problem, delving into the criminal underworld of these lawless seas. From the high seas of the Horn of Africa to the treacherous waters of Southeast Asia, we will uncover the secrets of these pirate havens and the challenges they pose to global security. Venezuela The seas surrounding Venezuela are being ravaged by an ominous threat, piracy. In recent years, this ancient scourge has returned with a vengeance, with pirates setting their sights on the Caribbean Sea and launching daring attacks on fishing boats and commercial vessels alike. These pirate attacks have brought about significant economic losses for Venezuela, with millions of dollars worth of revenue disappearing into the hands of these nefarious marauders. But the cost is not just measured in terms of money, as the lives of those on board these vessels are put at grave risk when confronted by the ruthless pirates of the Caribbean. The rise in piracy has put the nation's maritime security in the spotlight, with the government and law enforcement agencies struggling to contain the threat. Venezuela's once peaceful waters have become a battleground, where skilled seafarers and well-armed pirates engage in a deadly dance of life and death. To combat this menace, there needs to be a concerted effort from all stakeholders including the government, law enforcement agencies, and the international community. Bangladesh Piracy in the Bay of Bengal is a booming criminal enterprise, with Bangladesh bearing the brunt of this illicit activity. The waters of the Bay of Bengal are a prime target for these pirates, who prey on small fishing boats and cargo vessels. These criminals have caused extensive damage to the economy of the country, costing millions in lost revenue and posing a significant threat to the lives of the fishermen and sailors who use these waters. The Bay of Bengal is a key trade route that connects South Asia to Southeast Asia and beyond. It is also a vital fishing ground that supports the livelihoods of thousands of people in the region. But with the rise of piracy in these waters, many fishermen and sailors have fallen victim to these ruthless criminals. Pirates in the Bay of Bengal operate with impunity, using sophisticated tactics and weapons to overpower their targets. They often take hostages for ransom or steal valuable cargo, causing a significant loss to the maritime industry. The authorities have struggled to combat this criminal enterprise with limited resources and inadequate enforcement mechanisms. Indonesia Indonesia, a vast archipelago nation, is notorious for its rampant piracy in the surrounding waters, especially in the Strait of Malacca. Criminals operating in small boats target commercial ships, resulting in a significant loss of goods, damage to vessels, and even loss of life. The area is a significant transit route connecting Asia, the Middle East, and Europe, making it an attractive target for pirates. Piracy has been a persistent issue in the region, with criminal gangs using a range of tactics to carry out their operations. They often use small boats equipped with weapons and high-speed engines to intercept commercial ships, which they then board and rob of valuable cargo. Some pirates also resort to violence and hijackings, with crew members held hostage until a ransom is paid. Naval patrols have been deployed and stricter regulations introduced, 
but pirate attacks remain a persistent problem. Piracy in Indonesia is a significant criminal enterprise that poses a severe threat to commercial shipping in the region, particularly in the Strait of Malacca. Nigeria Nigeria's piracy problem is not just a mere inconvenience for the country's economy and shipping industry, it's a full-blown criminal enterprise that operates in the open sea. The pirates operating in the Gulf of Guinea are skilled criminals that use a range of tactics to carry out their attacks, including hijacking, kidnapping, and theft. These pirates aren't just opportunistic thieves, they are organized gangs with sophisticated logistics, weapons, and networks. One of the reasons piracy is so rampant in Nigeria is its advantageous geography. With a coastline spanning over 850 kilometers and situated in close proximity to major international shipping lanes, Nigeria is an attractive target for piracy. These pirates target both commercial vessels and smaller boats, knowing that their potential targets can range from high-value cargo to valuable equipment and crew members. To put it bluntly, the piracy situation in Nigeria is a criminal enterprise that requires a strong and coordinated response from the government and international community to dismantle. The safety of seafarers and the stability of Nigeria's economy depend on it. Somalia Somalia's strategic location in the Horn of Africa has made it a hotbed for piracy in recent years. Pirates operating in the region are known to target commercial vessels passing through the Gulf of Aden, a major shipping route linking Europe to Asia. There were 47 reported incidents of piracy and armed robbery against ships off the coast of Somalia in 2020. This marks a significant decline from the peak years of piracy in the early 2010s, which saw hundreds of attacks each year. The impact of piracy on the Somali economy has been significant, with estimates suggesting that piracy costs the country over $6 billion a year in lost revenue. Piracy has also had a devastating impact on the local fishing industry, as pirate gangs have often targeted fishing vessels. Efforts to combat piracy in the region have been ongoing, with international navies conducting patrols and providing escorts for commercial vessels. However, the root causes of piracy, such as poverty and political instability, have yet to be fully addressed. As such, pirate attacks remain a persistent problem in the waters off the coast of Somalia. As we come to the end of our journey through the world of modern-day piracy, we are reminded of the very real danger that still exists in these five countries. Pirates still roam the seas, threatening the safety and security of those who cross these treacherous waters.